before we get to our list of the world's most venomous animals, we'd like to make a distinction between poisonous and venomous. A poisonous animal carries and can secrete toxins. However, a human has to ingest, inhale, or touch the animal to be poisoned. If you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. Venomous means that the animal actively seeks to deliver toxins through a bite, sting, stab, or spit usually as defense or in the pursuit of prey. If it bites you when you die, it's venomous. Also, this list of the most venomous animals aren't necessarily the most deadly or dangerous venomous animals for humans. There are some animals whose venom is far less deadly, but more humans are injured and killed by them each year simply because humans come into contact with them more frequently. We've taken a number of factors into consideration for creating this list, such as how much venom the animals tend to deliver during an attack, how quickly death occurs, and the LD50 or median lethal dose rating of the animal. The LD50 provides an estimation of how dangerous a particular venom or toxin, as determined by how much venom is needed to kill 50% of a test population of lab test animals, usually mice. Even if you disagree with our rankings, you can agree that every animal listed is lethal. On with the list. Number 10. Brazilian Wandering Spider Number 10 on our list is the Brazilian Wandering Spider, a nomadic nocturnal arachnid which got its name because it travels from place to place to find food rather than building a web. It's also known as the banana spider because of its propensity for hiding in yellow fruit. It can be found in South and Central American countries. Occasionally it ends up in England or America, showing up as a horrid surprise for someone purchasing a bunch of bananas. While the Brazilian wandering spiders nest on the ground in the forest, they also like hiding in dark, moist places such as piled logs, garages, shoes, and closets. As a defense mechanism, Brazilian wandering spiders stand on their hind legs and swing side to side in warning before attacking. A bite from the spider causes severe pain at the site of the wound, often with inflammation. Within about 30 minutes, systemic envenomation occurs, characterized by symptoms such as hypertension or hypotension, arrhythmia, nausea, cramping, hypothermia, vertigo, blurred vision, convulsions, and paralyzation. If the spider injects enough venom when it bites you, you can die within an hour from respiratory complications. However, in most cases, bites from Brazilian wandering spiders don't contain enough venom to require antivenom. However, victims should immediately seek medical treatment. Even if the spider didn't deliver a fatal dose of venom, it can cause tissue necrosis. 0 0.006 milligrams of its venom is enough to kill a mouse. Interestingly, the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider contains a toxin called TX26 that causes priapism or long, painful erections in males lasting several hours, which can lead to impotence or enhanced potency depending on the victim. Number 9. King Cobra Native to South and Southeast Asia, these typically 10-15 to 15 foot king cobras are the largest venomous snakes in the world. The largest king cobra ever found was just over 19 feet. Generally, their prey is other smaller snakes and lizards, which they envenomate and then use their flexible jaws to swallow their paralyzed prey whole. Typically, king cobras are non-aggressive and shy, but as their highland forest's home was encroached on, they're coming into contact with humans more and more. In humans, the risk of death from a king cobra bite is somewhere around 75%. The painful bite can cause the death of a healthy adult human within 15 minutes, although it generally takes 30 to 45 minutes. The king cobra is even capable of killing a full-grown Asian elephant within three hours if the pachyderm is bitten in a vulnerable area such as the trunk. 7 milliliters or slightly less than 1 and 1 half teaspoons of a king cobra's venom can kill 20 adult humans or one elephant. The king cobra's venom attacks the victim's central nervous system, resulting in agonizing pain, blurred vision, vertigo, and eventually paralysis. If the envenomation is serious, it progresses to failure of the circulatory system and the victim falls into a coma, then dies. Antivenom is available in small doses. A traditional Ayurvedic concoction of turmeric and alcohol has also had some success in treating king cobra bite sufferers. Number 8. Sydney Funnel Web Spider the Sydney funnel web spider is number 8 on our list of the most venomous animals in the world. It belongs to a family of approximately 35 spiders native to Australia. Six spiders of the species are venomous, considered dangerous, and are known to cause grave injuries to humans. The male Sydney funnel web spider is most likely to come in contact with humans as it travels to search for a mate. The spider delivers a painful bite with its large fangs and the wound often bleeds. The spider doesn't always inject its victims with venom, but when it does, watch out! 
The venom contains a neurotoxin which attacks the nervous system and organs in a human. Fatalities can occur anywhere from 15 minutes in small children to 3 days for a healthy adult. The venom of this spider is reputedly 60 times as potent as cyanide. Symptoms of envenomation present almost immediately. Early symptoms include sweating, twitching, elevated heart rate, and elevated blood pressure. As the venom spreads throughout the body, symptoms include nausea, vomiting, muscle spasms, pulmonary edema, metabolic acidosis, and extreme hypertension. Often victims fall into a coma before death. Number 7. Boom Slang the boom slang is a tree snake native to sub-Saharan Africa. Described as shy and pretty, with large eyes and with bright, light green color in males and brown in females, boom slangs are rear-fanged snakes. Their fangs are far back in their mouths behind their other teeth, which means to envenomate they have to open their mouths really wide, up to 170 degrees to grab a chunk of flesh and stab. When venomously bitten by a boom slang, a victim experiences several symptoms, such as headache, nausea, and sleepiness. However, the most dangerous aspect of boom slang venom is that it's a hemotoxin with anticoagulating properties. In addition to destroying red blood cells, loosening blood clotting, and tissue degeneration, victims suffer extensive muscle and brain hemorrhaging. Death happens via progressive internal bleeding and is a slow, excruciating process taking anywhere from 3 to 5 days. It can also be messy and embarrassing, as blood leaks out of every orifice. Since boom slang venom is slow acting and symptoms may take several hours to set in after a venomous bite, in the past victims have been lulled into a false sense of security that the bite was dry or not serious. Symptoms may be counteracted with an antivenom and also blood transfusions depending on the amount of time between the bite and the victim seeking medical attention. Number 6. Coastal Taipan the coastal taipan or common taipan is native to New Guinea and also the coastal regions of northern and eastern Australia. Adult coastal taipans typically range in size from 4.9 to 6.6 feet and tend to live in logs, piles of vegetation, and have even been found in trash heaps. Bite victims may experience a wide variety of symptoms including headache, vomiting, convulsions, paralysis, internal bleeding, and kidney failure. In cases of severe envenomation depending on the health of the victim, death can occur within 30 minutes of being bitten, but on average takes two and a half hours. The venom of the coastal taipan contains a potent neurotoxin which affects the nervous system and the blood's ability to clot. Medical attention must be sought immediately. Untreated bites have a mortality rate of 100% as the coastal taipan always delivers a fatal dose of venom. The average bite delivers 10 to 12 times the dose needed to kill a human adult male. Number 5. Irukandji Jellyfish Irukandji jellyfish primarily live in the ocean off the coast of northern Australia. They are the smallest jellyfish in the world, with an adult being a single cubic centimeter. For being so tiny, they are incredibly dangerous. They can shoot stingers into their victim, causing symptoms collectively known as Irukandji syndrome. While a single sting tends to be only mildly painful, apparently it feels similar to a mosquito bite, the victims are usually struck with multiple barbs and the venom effects aren't immediate. In anywhere from 5 to 120 minutes, with 30 minutes being the average, a victim begins to experience symptoms including severe headache, muscle pains, vomiting, sweating, paranoia, hypertension, tachycardia, and pulmonary edema. Thankfully, while often severely painful, Irukandji syndrome is not necessarily fatal, depending on the dose delivered. Symptoms generally improve in 4 to 30 hours, but it may take up to 2 weeks for a patient to make a full recovery. With a fatal dose, victims often expire within 24 hours of the attack due to brain hemorrhages. Since Irukandji jellyfish are so tiny and delicate, they've proven hard to study in the hopes of creating a targeted antivenom. Current treatment is symptomatic, such as antihistamines and antihypertensive drugs used to control inflammation and hypertension. Pain management can be problematic as in some cases morphine has little effect. Number 4. Blue Ringed Octopus The typical adult blue ringed octopus is about the size of a golf ball and lives off the coasts of Australia and Southeast Asia. Though usually non-aggressive, when provoked it delivers debilitating and deadly venom for which there is no antidote. The average adult blue ringed octopus carries enough venom to kill 26 male adults, and it's 10,000 times more potent than cyanide. 
before it attacks, the octopus usually issues a warning by turning an intense blue color. While the bite is generally painless, within 10 minutes a victim can go into a respiratory failure and expire within half an hour. In some victims, symptoms may occur hours later. The blue-ringed octopus venom contains neurotoxins which causes muscular weakness and numbness, followed by respiratory failure and ultimately death. Number 3. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan, or Fierce Snake, inhabits semi-arid regions of Central East Australia and is considered the world's most venomous snake. It's estimated that one bite is enough of a lethal dose to kill at least 100 male adults, or about 250,000 mice. Its venom is considered at least 200 to 400 times more toxic than the common cobra. Even worse, the Inland Taipan has extreme accuracy when attacking, often striking multiple times in the same attack, and it nearly always injects venom rather than delivering a dry bite. Victims should seek medical attention immediately. If left untreated, an Inland Taipan bite can kill a human in 30 to 45 minutes. Aside from pain and inflammation at the site of the bite, symptoms include headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. The victim then collapses or goes into convulsions, leading to major organ failure and finally death. Fortunately, there have been no documented human fatalities from an inland Taipan bite. All known bite victims have been successfully treated with antivenom. Number 2. Cone Snail the second most venomous animal in the world is the cone snail. The name cone snail encapsulates a family of several hundred species of marine gastropods. All of them are extremely venomous and dangerous to humans. They typically live in tropical seas in the sand or among coral reefs and rocks. They move slowly, their venom is used to capture prey. Fortunately, they can be easily avoided. If you're foolish enough to pick up a live cone snail, you may be courting death. They shoot harpoon-like sharp teeth from their mouths to sting and then pump venom into their victims via muscular contraction. The harpoon of a large cone snail can even penetrate wetsuits. Intense pain at the site of the sting is often immediately felt, followed by swelling, numbness, tingling, and vomiting. Severe cases rapidly cause muscle paralysis, changes in vision, and respiratory failure that can lead to death. The venom of larger cone snails can potentially kill a human in four minutes, though it generally takes longer. A venom dose fatal to humans is incredibly small. It's thought that the venom in one cone snail is enough to kill 20 adults. Researchers are studying some species of cone snail in order to harness the toxins to create various pharmaceutical drugs. A chemical extracted from the venom of the magical cone snail is a painkiller, 1,000 times more potent than morphine. Number 1. Australian Box Jellyfish the world's most venomous animal title goes to the Australian box jelly. It's one of the world's most deadliest animals as humans fairly frequently come into contact with them. Since jellyfish aren't really fish, biologists have dropped the fish part from its name. No matter what you call it, if an Australian box jelly stings you, you're having a really, really bad day. It carries enough venom to kill 60 adults. This species of box jelly can primarily be found in the oceans around Asia and Australia. Box jellies are virtually transparent in the water. Adults can measure up to about 12 inches in diameter in the box or bell-shaped core body, and the tentacles can grow nearly 10 feet in length. Each box jelly has around 15 tentacles on each corner of its box. Each tentacle has about 5,000 nematocysts or microscopic harpoon-shaped barbs that inject venom into the victim. Within minutes of envenomation, the victim experiences extreme pain, paralysis, delirium, skin necrosis, and may even go into cardiac arrest. Box jelly venom is so excruciatingly painful that human victims often go straight into shock and drown or die of heart failure before even reaching shore. Despite some recent controversial studies which think the remedy causes more damage than good, box jelly stings should be treated immediately with an application of vinegar for at least 30 seconds. The acetic acid in vinegar neutralizes the box jelly's nematocysts that have not yet discharged into the bloodstream. Any stray tentacles should be removed. After that, the victim should be immersed in hot water, which will help reduce the intensity and duration of the pain. More minor stings can be treated with ice packs, topical, and oral pain medications. Whether a box jelly attack is lethal or not depends on how much venom is injected into the victim. The vast majority of victims survive stings, 
and the odds of survival are almost 100% if the victim makes it through the first 10 minutes of the attack. Around 50 people are killed annually by box jellyfish, however that number may be grossly underreported because death certificates are not required in many countries within the range of box jellies. In the spring of 2019, scientists announced headway into making possible antidotes which could be life-saving if administered within 15 minutes of a victim being stung. Have you ever come into contact with a venomous animal? What happened? Let us know in the comments. Now go watch why Spinosaurus was the greatest predator ever. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.